Good morning, everybody. It's the 28th of April, last meeting of Breakfast of the Masters. How's everybody doing? I don't know if you guys know, it's Monday. Nobody awake? The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. I guess I wasn't awake. Let's try it again. It's the 28th of April. It's the last meeting of Breakfast for the Masters in April. How's everybody? I was speaking to myself there for a little while. Very kind of you. Okay, uh, admin. I really don't have anything too exciting. You're welcome, Kai. Um, did you have fun? Uh, how about Jordan? New partner uh, right after school ends, which is uh, third week of May. I believe she's getting uh, spayed, spayed, neutered, whatever, next week. Then she needs two weeks at home, so. <clears throat> Bailey is her name. I don't pick them. Oh, tr training on decision making? You guys want to do that? Now, that's going to be a separate seminar. I've already alerted jo Joey. What Joey wants to know is when do you guys want to do it? Actually, it's going to be three seminars. Hey, Al. Anytime. Okay. That's what I'll tell Joey. What's fit your schedule? Uh, it'll probably, my guess is it'll be a weekend. Well, uh, what do I think the cost will be? I don't know, but we'll try and keep it relatively low. Okay. Uh, this is already May. I'm thinking, what do you think? Midsummer? What do you think? Gina, Gina's away from June, so I don't want her to miss it. July, August, September, one each month, something like that. Oh, don't, don't worry. It'll take me time to catch my breath, much, much less get Joey involved. Joey's in. I just have to, uh, we have to plan it. Uh, what I figured we'd do is probably each one. Oh, uh, Joey Powell who was a Black Ops battle commander for every single Black Ops division that the U.S. government runs. I can't even name them all. But <clears throat> anyway, he served in every part of the arms for armed forces, NSA, CIA, Navy SEAL. His uh, handle is CCT Joey. Anyway, um, on Saturday mornings, when I go to work out, he's at eight o'clock. At six o'clock in the morning, he starts. Uh, he starts with uh, um, different officers that are in Black Ops um, stationed at Emory Riddle University, which is right here, and he teaches them uh, Saturday mornings. And it's really a. He doesn't have to. He just he does it to help them because he tells them what their instructors are not going to tell them, so that they uh, then they all work out it at uh, Joey's gym, but he wants him to pr to pass. So, uh, he, t he, you know, he tells him what it's like to be in the, in the mission. And, and so, um, I was in there one day and he has three PowerPoints or four PowerPoints that he does with him after he's finished the whole series. And, um, basically it's about decision making. It's about how to get three to four steps in front of your, uh, your enemy. What, what do you do if, uh, things fall apart? You know, how do you plan this so that nothing falls apart? Uh, anything from big picture on down is one of them. Another one is your individual assignments. Another one is how to understand how all the pieces fit together. But it's all decision making. And even though it's about black ops, believe me, it is 
one-on-one -on -one applicable for what we do. I was just fascinated. He was talking about three-dimensional three decision-making as a battle unfolds. Think about how that fits with what we do. It's pretty cool stuff. And believe me, it's going to be your only opportunity. I don't think you'll ever meet anybody like this. And uh, it's not what I expected. I went in for rehab. Sean's, battle, uh, Sean's, Sean's batting coach introduced me to Joey for rehab. The other day I mentioned I needed more confidence, and on reflection I realized I need to develop courage to act on my decisions. So decision-making is a high priority for me. Well, Joey can fix that up. That's easy. Believe me, <clears throat> anytime somebody's firing bullets at you, you need courage, Gina. Been, been, I've been there. Not in the Army, but I, I've been there. And you you got to stand up and take care of yourself. So, <clears throat> anyway. So, yeah, we'll uh, we'll be doing it. I thought the, what would follow is this way. Two hours of Joey and then about an hour of me. And I'm going to have Joey not... try and take his material and uh, bend it toward traders. Then I'll spend an hour relating trading to what he's just talked about. How's that? So you'll, you'll actually be looking at a Black Ops presentation. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> so only problem is I have to buy him a Mac. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty cool. It'll, it'll be, quite, be really, really amazing. Trust me. Like I said, once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, so, <clears throat> how many people enjoyed last Friday? How many people think that you learned something? So you got this close only stuff down cold now, right? <laughs> a couple of people started to say yes, and then the rest go, oh, let's hang on a second. All right, so, so somebody, how many of you watched the video? It's not easy to know. Well, even, even, even take out the 3D higher lows, which is a great notion. A little knowledge could be a dangerous thing without practice and repetition. Well, you know, Shane, I think you read my mind. I'm going to pull. How many of you know who Richard Feynman is? I should call him Dr. Richard Feynman, but I went over. Hey, Carlos. Um, I went over hard parts a few times, and I still didn't get the 3D lows and highs. That's okay. Oh, you guys should definitely, definitely go to YouTube and find him. Even if you don't care about physics. No, he's a physicist. He's the last Newtonian physicist. You can't count me. He worked, because he worked on the atomic bomb and things, at the age of 17, if he was not there, they might not have actually, not that it's a good thing or a bad thing, I'm not trying to judge that. His books are magnificent. Um, if he had not been there, they might not have solved the final equation. The 17 year old. How about that? They just plucked him out of Princeton. Absolutely a straight talker. Okay, so you'd go into Dick Feynman's class, and I had it for a while at Princeton. I was a visiting scholar at Princeton, whatever the hell that meant. Anyway, you'd go into his class. He, d he does talk with everyone, yeah. He was great to have at school. He would actually. He come over, sit down at your desk, and look you in the eye and ask you questions and talk to you. But he would, you know what? He would just beat you with a stick on some concept, right? With some hilarious exercise, so that everybody got it. I don't care if they were salt of the earth or stupid or really highbrow or hard to teach. I don't care. At the end of the class, everybody was laughing. Everybody got it. Follow me.
and then we'd walk in the next session and there'd be another application oh you know what I've had some great I've had some great teachers and he's certainly one of the best thinkers I've ever had Milton Friedman's the best thinker I think of the if not the 20th century certainly the second half of the 20th century but I think he's probably the best teacher I've ever met oh that's a great one but god he was incredible and just could light up a room with a smile Art Carney yeah I like that Carlos you guys know who Art Carney was from the Honeymooners? That's a, yeah, that's actually a pretty good, uh, I like that. Wow. Saw his, just the way he acts and, and gets everybody's attention and can play off of everybody. Yeah, Ouija says, saw his YouTube video, his personality seemed to be opposite of Milton Friedman. True, although Milton Friedman in class is a lot less stiff than what he seems when you see him in public. But, hey, hey, Dr. Gary, how are you? No problem. We're just getting going. Gary, did you see uh, Fridays? You were here, right? All right. So, a la Dick Feynman... Without us understanding motion, we could understand our nation, nature. I wish I could talk. Price fluctuates. I remember on Friday, we rotated a three-dimensional field so that all we had was a close. Now, it does some good things. takes out a lot of the noise, doesn't it? And it does some interesting things in that we lose information, right? You always have to get something if you want to if you want to get something you have to give something. Yes, that's what I want to say. That doesn't mean on Friday you should have learned that doesn't mean you can't trade, correct? I think you guys did a pretty good you did a lot you did a lot better than I thought you were going to do on Friday. I'll tell you a secret, you actually didn't trade where I thought the trade was. But it did <laughs> magnificent. How about that? All right, so price fluctuates. Here you go. Want to take a ride? Who's in? Okay, so it's uh, 20 after 6. Anything is chartable and workable, says Dr. Andrews. You are correct, Gary. Anything fluctuates. All right. So it's 20 minutes after 6. I will give you two hours. I'll give you three attempts to make a winning trade with a risk reward of 3 to 1. You must have a vote of 4 or better. on any decision. Everybody understand the rules? And I'm going to make it really, 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 really easy on you. We're going to trade natural gas 189 ticks. Okay? Everybody take the pledge. You will not open any charting program. Because it will ruin for, it not only for everybody else, but also for yourself. I won't even start Windows. Uh, must be on a Mac, huh? Okay, cool. Here we go. So, <clears throat> here is your beginning chart. Now, I looked at, just so you know, I looked at um, volume charts. I looked at range charts. I looked at Point and figure, not enough people will understand it. Kagi and those types of things, not enough people will understand it. Although we might do them later. This is the easiest one where you get to exercise. Just your charting and logic. And it has an interesting twist. What phase of the market are we in? Oh, here's a question from John. I thought you were asking me a question, John. 
John's question is, what phase of the market are we in? Will price make a new high? What do you guys think? Abdu says up. BJ says up. It's a range after a run higher. Range, range 50-50. John, what do you say? Ranging now after up. Range, range, range. Range after a cascade up. Shade says resting. How about mark high and low? Okay. John, you haven't heard your range yet. Your answer yet. We're in a range. I see some nice frequency on three higher lows. Okay. I'm not sure, but I fancy down if I'm pushed to choose. Hey, Reese, how you doing? Well, I wait for John. Oh, there's John. Possible up or range. Okay. So somebody would like this. I'll do it. Well, there is a pitiful looking line. I'm going to park one of those over there. All right. Any other questions or suggestions? I think Scotty had a suggestion. Scotty? Connect the highs with a maximum excursion line. Okay. One second. Warning line from the swing low. LME from the swing low. Okay. Hang on. Uh, Scotty, where the range I see some nice frequency on three higher lows. Uh, three higher lows. All right. You guys, get me if I tell me if I do this right. I don't know what happened to that. Let's try it again. Does that work? All right, and somebody else want to draw a maximum extrusion line down. Okay, I can do that. So we're going to have lines of opposing force at some point, unless we move out of here fast. Let's make that... Uh Horizontal multi pivot line, first pullback at 376 in run up, please. Like that. John? Anything else? All right, a go no go bar. Okay, uh, today you get a buck and a half. I know our ATR is lower, but I'm going to be more generous, so we make sure we find a trade. You can use less. Okay, that's always the rule with a go no go bar. You can use less. You cannot use more. Come on. There we go. Oh, are you kidding me? Man, that's hard. Since this looks like a rotation after a down flow, how about a median line with an ML at the prior low and the upper at the very left?
I don't get it, Keith. You mean here? Or do you mean here, here, here? Well, further left, you can't get to further left. You can only get to here. You get what's on the on the page. Need price expansion for three to one. The pivot on the left. This pivot right here. Then what would be your high? Here? I don't know. It's only usable if I can draw it, sir. Let <laughs> me one more time. Uh, it doesn't look usable. And I'd say that's a no. Okay. Now, another bar. Okay. Here we go. So, we are retesting our, it's basically, I mean, this wasn't what anybody asked for, but let me do it. Oh, Jordan's out. I believe, yep, sure enough, we're back around our balance line, aren't we? So this thing, if you can imagine this thing rotating in space, remember we've already rotated it two dimensions so that we would get to close only. Hell says it's a dumbo line. I don't know if the dumbbells are smart enough to draw that, but maybe. Maybe we saw it in, in three dimensions instead of just a single dimension we'd be able to. I mean, in a certain sense, this is, it's not pointillism. But we've lost the two dimensions, two other dimensions. All right. I don't understand how rotating this gives us 2D. It doesn't give us 2D. We've lost part of 2D, haven't we, Gina? We can no longer see the high symbols. We can't see the depth of the bar. No, no, don't just listen. If you don't get it, a lot of people will. Okay. A bar normally looks like this. Okay. And we rotate it such that in space you can only see the close. Think of it this way. It's, we've rotated it so this is a dot connected to here. And I'm not just talking about up and down or sideways. Remember, there's all kinds of different axes we can rotate this as. Axis and Z axis. Thank you, Carlos. So, all you can see is the close. Everything else disappears. Bars are still there, Gina. We just can't see them. Okay. And on the other side of balance now, looks like we're about to test our upsloping. This line is formed by connecting the closes, correct? Yeah. These are, oh, the only thing we can see are closes. Correct, Scotty? Could you take the lower maximum excursion and paste it to the high and left? Sure. Connect, connected by a line like connected dots. Exactly. Know the high left of that. Oh, sorry. Here? Oh, brilliant. Not bad. Not bad at all. Sorry, man. 
All right. Any other questions? More bars. Bars. Okay, bars it is. I think some of you just like to go to bars. All right, we're still testing the multi-pivot line or the advanced. Well, it's both. Maximum excursion line and the multi-pivot line. And clearly through it. Ideas, thoughts, price didn't hold, mark the high, please. Uh, any other requests? <coughs> Copy held me from the top to previous swing high. Well, the bad news is that's that's unfortunately that's the same. If I copy it from here to here, it's the same. Let's try to understand, John. Beginning of the chart. Copy to the previous swing high. Uh, I'm not following you. Too early to post A, B, and P pivots. I don't know. It's up to you, Kyle. Somebody already asked for this. We'll make these gray today so that we can use them on both sides. Oh my god, can you I actually got it right. Okay. Uh 1058. Yeah, but what am I supposed to do at 1058, John? Sorry. We broke it out of the range of the dances in, but he also interested in selling a reaction. Of what, John? Selling a reaction to what? I draw a median line from the top, says Perry. Uh, if it pulls back to what, John? You must be specific, please. I'm probably too early, but as we have broken the minor pivot, I'd be happy to sell the downsloping max. Okay, so up here, Shane, you're, you're interested in. Ah, Gina says, isn't the media line thinner than the go no go? Which multi pivot line do you want to sell, John? Oh, okay. You're still thinking. Okay. Do we like this media line? Well, we can leave it on for direction or nothing else. I think the red cap media line captures range extension, so it's narrow and not for trading. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Not the entire media line set, but the smaller channels. Is there a rule there? Uh, generally, this might give you steep range extension. I think Ouija is exactly right. I think the red median line captures range extension, so it's narrow and not for trading, because like a road map. Does that help, Gina? Path of price. If going short, that entry would be top maximum excursion, Gary says. Okay. Like that idea? Let's take a look. Let's imagine this. A few bars later. If we go from here to here, can you imagine what it'd be like to go short there? Think about it. Is that where you want to go short? Keith says yes immediately. Not hungry, are you, Keith? Ouija wants to go short, okay? Matt says not enough info for me, okay? Would not be a bad area, says Al. Okay. Kind of cryptic. All right, I think I think we have to buy a bar anyway, and we get a pullback. So how's it going, BJ? I'm thinking MLA at eleven will respond frequency. There.
Okay. And a turn down. Now remember, we have no, th even though this is a half of, this is an ATR wide, this channel, and it's only two bars, right? One bar up, one bar down. It is the ATR right here. But we have no idea what these bars are. These bars might be eight handles wide. They might be mere dots. We really don't know, do we? So keep that in the back of your mind. Further range extension. If price and just around the blue horizontal multi favorite line, that might be interesting, especially if we have confluence. Okay. And just to. I'm thinking John's thinking that. <clears throat> just a guess. And we make new lows. We're through the median line. So we tested the median line, did a little do si do here. And now we're at the same distance. I'll draw it. It's a free line from me. Just to keep track of things. Okay. Cascading lower. And turns at the sliding parallel. Okay. It's always a switch back on the frequency upsloper. Switch back on the frequency upsloper. I'm to think about that. I have a clear objective in mind. So far, I see a low and a high, but I don't see pain. Okay. Confirming that that is a 2D low. This is a 2D low. And in fact, for the information we have, it's a 2D low. It's not a 2D low. It's a, anybody? This is a 3D low. Okay. It is a new three-dimensional low. Turn your head to the left. 3D double how? This is a 3D double. This is a 3D triple bottom right here. But we broke through it right here. These are three-dimensional lows. Here's a new three-dimensional low. Right? Now, if you want to look at it this way, turn your head to the right. Yeah, Gina gets it. I get confused which way to turn my head. I see that now. Easy to see if I flip the chart in my head. I was looking at the fruits coming down. Well, you can look at either one. Right? So, against this plane, remember, we're in a certain sense, we're looking at multiple planes at once. Against this plane, this is a new 3D low. And this is another new 3D low, right? We have one, two, three triple bottoms in this plane and a new 3D low. In this plane, here, we now have double bottoms, right? So we have more than two dimensions going here, even though you thought we only had one dimension originally, right? I can't give you a name. Double bottoms, but isn't the 3D low at the lower parallel? Well, that's one of the 3D lows. But this is also on a different plane, a three-dimensional low. Or a, let's call it a multi-dimensional low, but yeah. Would you say here that it's weak or 3D low, or do we need more bars to tell for sure one way or the other? Um, well, it's a, 
is a weaker 3D loan. I get this backwards. These are 3D highs. These are 3D lows, but in multiple dimensions. Uh, this is the, in 3D, this is the strongest low, David. A double, a double 3D looking at an upslope or a downslope. Yeah, that's a better description, Gary. If we capture the current path of price, it's the one that's in our immediate concern. That is true, Matt Cubed. David, based on the lower red parallel, yeah, this is a stronger low. However, I would point out that we're doing a fairly good job of this. which is the same as over here, okay? So the channel's even narrowed, right? And the narrower median line or any set of slope lines is, the more difficult it is for price to stay within it. Doesn't mean it can't, doesn't mean it won't. If volatility is getting lower in 3D, would you say that's coiling in 3D? Absolutely. What I was just gonna say is, what are the odds that this is going to break to the upside or the downside? And what does that make this in that dimension? It's a range. It's a sloped range in that dimension, right? Okay. And it continues to be a sloped range. The moment I tell you that it's difficult for it to continue. All right. Same closes. We don't know anything about the excursion, but same closes. Come back here. All right. Oh. And we bust everything. I suppose we should extend this. Filling the mountain looks like it. Weaker low in frequency red, yes. Would doubling the range of the brown max of excursion line down a waste. No, nothing's a waste. It's only a line. Uh. All right, there's double the range. And we see where the bottom of the mountain is. Nice pullback. And just as soon as we zoom the median line, we close back above it, back above it. Bouncing off the mountain base. Seems like it. Seems like there might be buyers down here. Turn right at our sliding parallel. Sideways. And still holding in this very narrow range. Okay. New 3D low. New two-dimensional low. We're at double the range, off the maximum excursion. Look to see if this is a wash. Yep. Do you think it's easier or harder to tell if this is a wash with close only? 
if you tried to imagine what a wash looks like well let's start thinking about it <clears throat> what if the next bar closes here yeah it would look like a V wouldn't that look like a wash So you'll just have to imagine the shapes are going to be different. Let's see what we get. Okay, more difficult to invent things. I don't know. We're in, I believe me, we're inventing pl plenty of things here, John. I, I admit I've never seen anybody do this exercise, but I thought you, you enjoyed it so much on Friday you should do it again. Actually, Dick Feynman would always do it at least twice. So. All right, so now we're breaking through double range. Seem to be on a roll here, huh? Our median line still holding. Slope is gentle a bit. Flat. Now at the lower parallel, approaching a new 3D low on a downslipping basis. Okay. And we're horizontal. And we turn up. Now we'll find out if the sliding parallel, which was support, becomes resistance. And also the back side of the excursion line, right? No. It is resistance. And it turns down and makes a new 3D low takes out the lower parallel. Please copper up upper down sloping maximum sure line to the left. Upper down sloping. That'd be upper down sloping maximum excursion line to low on left. You want, does you mean you want me to squeeze in? Mm. Um, okay, I'll do it. Just for you. Oops. I don't like squeezing in. You should know, but just for you. When we're through it. Uh, there's something about the 3D to setting eyes in the middle of this run now. Possible frequency quite similar to the red we already have. The 3D descending highs in the middle of this run down. Right here. Right here, Keith, uh, Reese. It's to the tick, almost to the tick, the same frequency, I think. Nope. It's steeper. I mean, it's less steep, sorry. Slope is accelerating. Yes, right now. Mark the last tie says Matt cubed. Yeah, I will. Sorry, I'm 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 playing with interest as a matter of fact. I mean I know you guys probably don't believe me. I have no idea what this is. I don't bother. It's much more interesting for me if I get to play along with you guys. Otherwise I just sit here twiddling my thumb. Okay, we came to the confluence here with the energy point of course it might look different in normal dimensions but energy point didn't even breathe right 
Bottom may be coming, says Al. Al, what makes you say that? Slope is getting, oh, because slope is getting sleep. Okay. I'll take that. I see no evidence of a bottom. Yeah, but I like his logic. Slope is, the slope is now so steep, hard to maintain. Okay. I get that. Still steep. Let's see energy blowing off of the coil. Very good. And we're at the first warning line. Still steep. And past the first warning line. Still steep. Man, this close only stuff's hard, isn't it? Well, it's kind of gentling. Ah, this must be the bottom, huh? What do you think? <laughs> Why? I just, I was just trying to add, add some humor. Gary says we'll see. Not must, but maybe. Okay. No, too much velocity. New 3D and 2D low. Maybe, maybe not. Pain felt. Well, I'll vote for pain. How about you guys? Let's write that on. Much pain if you're on the wrong side. Well, we haven't traded yet, so it's okay. Sounds like Robert Cray. Hey, nice, Gary. I haven't seen Robert Cray in a while. You guys all know who Robert Cray is? No? No? Really? Blues guitar, yeah. Oh, man. He's not BB, but... He, he carries a lot of pain. Looks like we've doubled the mountain range. Do you mean this? Look at my stuff's not working today. Like that? Still a bit to go, yep. Seems like everyone is short and happy and in the money. Not sure I see pain. Well, that that's an interesting point, Scotty. It's been a... I'll tell you what. Just If you sold the lower high right here, just imagine yourself. Now, I don't see the entry. Let's, let's do a couple quick things here. So we got the Dumbo double tops. So they sell with a stop, any stop. Good, good, good eyes, Scotty. And pretty easy ride down, isn't it? Easy six, 600 bucks without any pullback at all. Any, anybody else see that or is it just Scotty and me? It might be a bar to help with that entry if we were in bar charts. Might be, yep. Yeah. That was after us, Al, but it's okay. There were people under the mountain holding long, though, eh? Maybe. I'll tell you what, if they tried to stop it here, they got smacked pretty fast. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where the entry is, Keith, but... 
I mean, I can't see it in normal dimensions, but if this was just a trend line, people will sell, a lot of people will just sell this third touch, which is really the first test of the trend line, and put a stop up here. A lot of people will. All right, and I'll make something interesting. Anybody imagine that anybody's long? Al says, everyone's short. All right. So let's see what we get out of that. Short or flat and hurting. Yep. And a little bit of a pullback. Relentless, isn't it? And new lows. And a pullback. And we're almost at double the range. And a pullback. <laughs> a lot of nothing. New lows. Likely this is a possible bottom. Okay. And past double the range and a new 2D, 3D low. You okay, Gina? What do you think, Gina? Bottom pickers coming in now with tight stops, says Shane. And so much for the sliding parallel. As you watch this, could we have two second red warning line, please? Sure. As you watch this, without the noise of the highs and the lows, <clears throat> is it easier for you to see the difficulty of making money when you try and pick bottoms? I mean, this is pretty obvious, isn't it? And I'm, I imagine there's plenty of bars in here where this thing pulled back, closed on its high, or had double bottoms. You know, lots of things to entice you into entries, right? And no follow-through at all on this, on this particular chart. Um... <clears throat> I can't wait to see the actual chart. Need a reference point to see the turn. Yes, this is relentless down. Not one high has been taken out from this view. Yep. I can see that, yes. All right, so the next time you think about, you know what, I, I got double bottoms. Would be difficult to scalp with the close-only chart. Maybe. Maybe with less noise, it would weed out more trades. It would definitely weed out more trades, yeah. As you can't see the bar flickering up or down, it seems to keep you from wanting to go long too early. Okay, good. It's only been 60 minutes. How about that, says L. Kind of eliminates uncertainty, says Carlos. Well, this one certainly seems black and white, doesn't it? And I wanted this to be a different look than the prior one. Although this is not exactly what I expected, but <clears throat> it is what it is. Sideways, sideways. Oh, look at that. Does your stomach feel better? We had three bars in a row, sideways.
Four bars in a row. Time to play the lotto. Now, remember, we have no idea what these bars look like. This could be a wash. This could be three lower lows that all have the same close. This could be three higher highs in a row that all have the same close. Do you see how it... No. Wouldn't a wash show a V-shape? No. Al, what if this was a huge bar down but the same close? An even larger bar down the same close. Or it just could be small tick bars, sure. The last retracement was larger than the previous retracement, but that is an observation. Hmm, okay. All right. What I mean by eliminating uncertainty is the uncertainty of where the price will end up after the bar swings around is, prob is its probability in ATR. Okay. They could definitely be tiny bars. They could be, I hate to say it, they could be anything you could imagine. Sure looks horizontal. Okay, there are people in the world that believe that the closing price is the most important price. How many people believe that? Okay, well, Keith, I got a question for you. Mr. Shepard being one. Well, remember that we're in 189 ticks, not in 15 minute, 20 minute, 60 minute, one hour, uh, 60 minute is one hour, 240 minutes, etc. Right? Depends on time frame. Okay, so here's my question: Isn't this the computer just dictating the close? No, it's not. It's the last price when the counter reaches 180 ticks. Yeah, right. Maybe you have to insert a fourth dimension. That is time. Okay, maybe. On a time-based chart, you mean? No. This computer says 189 ticks and the bar. The 190th tick is a new bar. Being a new bar. I think it's only it's us only wanting to see one slice of price okay I just want you to use your mind surely we could also use just use open price yeah well just use your mind I don't think there's a right or wrong there are a lot of people especially at the end of day when we when we only had day part uh, who, who else here traded before real real price off the floor so 1980 1982 to be safe. Anybody? Still in short pants. Thank you. Okay, so um, 1983, darn close, Thomas. All right, so the reason why back then everybody thought it was so important was that everybody knew that there was no overnight trading and everybody knew that it was probably wise to square up positions unless you had some money in your in the bank so there were a lot of a lot of um, I'm listening to my wife and my daughter trying to argue with a cat if you can believe that sorry about that there are a lot everybody made their decision based on well you know it's two o'clock and we're closing at 315 I don't think I really want to be short or I've got some money in this let me see if I can push it lower because it's month end etc cetera, etc cetera. that mark to the market at the end of the day was very important but now that we trade overnight not sure it's quite as important but maybe I'm getting off topic well, so much for our horizontal lows. 
new 2D, new 3D, new everything. Gentling, up. First up in quite a while. This was our last up right here. I'd mark this, but I don't know what color to make it. You guys all fall asleep? Or just puzzled? Puzzled? Focused, okay. Even I'm puzzled. Horizontal, down. Oh my God, look at it go. Well, there's lots happening, we're just not on board. Although, it seems like it's in forever, right? Doesn't it? It's only nine handles. We've sat through 25. It's a lot, but it's not forever. But it is relentless is the most, most odd thing. It takes patience to wait for a cascade down to end, and there aren't any entries to the downside. Yeah, good luck trying to find an entry, huh? Before it's too late. All right. I think winter will come. <laughs> All right. I'm going to mark even the small, mark even the smaller one here. Um, does that red median line have any value at this point? Let's move, mark out. Well, I guess so. Wow. Uh, it does it does help us keep track of three D lows? You are correct, Reese. So we're at the whatever warning line. Hey, Jordan, how are you? And two bars up, three bars up. Taking out a high, that's been a while. When was the last time we took out a high? Just took out a high, touched a high here, didn't take out this high, didn't take out this high, didn't take it. Uh, you know what? 11.20, wow. Well, we started up here. Wow. That's pretty amazing. You want to mark this as an alternating pivot, Bob? Nine handles in an hour is quite a lot. Yes. Sure, absolutely. Bob wants to mark this. Oh, we, we don't have to draw on it yet, but okay. Pretty amazing. All right. Well, again, look at this pullback. Biggest pullback we've had. Uh, flat, back up, flat, back up, back up. Hey, check this out. Double tops. Hold on. I'm holding. What, Reese? What would you like me to hold on to? Did you have something you wanted to say? Or you're just holding on to your seat? Ah. Trying to knock something out. Is this last up frequency similar to prior? Hmm. Are you thinking that? No. Nope. I'll leave that for a second anyway. But so double top in 3D and higher high. Double top in 2D and higher high in 3D. Yes, it is. Carlos, is this last up frequency similar to prior? Whoop. 
What is going on with that in here? Oh, it's pretty similar. It's close enough for jazz. Actually, it's almost exact. Uh, around the Wii formation at the brown dotted. The brown dotted. Uh, I'm sorry, you lost me there. 1218. Help. Higher high in 3D. I see double bottoms in 3D. Okay, double bottoms. And actually, double tops. And, I mean, it's not the highest high. We'd have to be up here. But we are taking up these highs in 3D. Right? And turning back down. Which highs in 3D? Gina, just rel relatively speaking, Gina, this is a double high in 3D. And this high is a double, I'm oh, sorry, this high is a double high to this in 3D. And these are higher highs. Is we're measuring against the slope line. See that Gina turn your head to the right. Yeah, got it? Yeah, is that a yes? I get the O, but is that a yes? <laughs> All right. Uh, all that work, new left double tops in 2D and new low, and new low, and new low. Uh, well, how about that? You guys wanted a V for a wash, remember that? Maybe making money on bottom pickers until exhausted. Um, yeah, except we're getting exhausted. Is this crazy? I can't draw it. Must be crazy. Ensign refused to draw it. Well, he doesn't like that one at all. Ensign was laughing at me. That's going to give you a nearly horizontal sloped. All right. So, uh, this is meaningless. Unless you want to drag it here. Which is this. More, another new high. Hmm. My eye spies, I think this is the longest pullback in 3D. Take a look. Three D lows getting taken out left and right. Okay, well, up oh, slight turn back, double tops in two D, 
So I turn back. Horizontal may be approaching new 3D high and higher lows in 3D. Ah, Scotty. Scotty says horizontal may be approaching new 3D highs and higher lows in 3D. The tangent looks like it's flattening, says Gary. Right there, I'm seeing potentially the same formation as Monday high 3D lows followed by the same horizontal action. All right, so lots of people think that this might be All right. Comes up to the lower parallel and turns. Comes I just copied this excursion down here before we get too crazy here one second. Out down One more time. Okay, fine. Forget you. I get my own. 3D upsloping, though horizontal, flat, or down. Okay. Everybody get that? So, the question is, is is the third dimension remember it helped us the last time is the third dimension it's okay Gina relax turn your head to the right I can um very little to go on, but could try along here on a retest of the brown. Would be nice to break the red lower parallel, though. Gina, turn your head to the right. And you can see that we've come up to the lower parallel. And that's higher or closer than we were here. The last time we were this high relative to the lower parallel, actually, we're even higher than here. So the last time we were this high was when we broke through. Okay? Anybody like Reese's idea of going long against this? Gina says yes. I too would like to get long at the next touch of the brown, says Ouija. Okay? Al says too soon. Yes, I'm in. That's three. Is it okay doesn't work for me, Thomas? It's a yes or a no. Too soon, too soon. Two points for me does good for upsloping. I like the idea, but I'm not committing. I'm in a bit soon. Okay, what do we want to know if, what do we do? What do you want me to do if there's more than four votes, but not a majority? Actually, I can't even count a majority. I'm going to go with the original. Where is the evidence that price has turned? Well, this is trading. We don't need evidence. No action, says Reese. As you say, it's only a stop. Okay, I originally said it takes four. Some of you are going to get long, perhaps, on the next one. Some of you are not. So, this would be your stop, point and a half. Yesterday, there was a shot up, then a mountain, then a scary drop. This is different, says Gita. Okay? I'm in long at the brown line of the retest. If you have a four, I do have four. Okay. Sideways, up, retesting our multi-pivot line, breaking our multi-pivot line. As soon as you guys want to get long, of course, <clears throat> just saying. And we did break the upper, the lower parallel. And <laughs> uh, 
Oh my God. All right, so now we've taken out the lower parallel and the median line and this horizontal. So this certainly looks like horizontal. Let's make this black now. Doesn't mean we missed it. Excuse me. How about looking at the upsloping pivot and see if it's worthy? See if it's worthy for what, man? Okay, Kai, take care. How about a small upsloping median line? Okay. I think I tried this one before. And it got blown out. Yep, that didn't work. Uh, we could try this one. Like that. For the path of price. This is a mat cubed. Kai, pretty soon we might all have to see our, our physicians. All right. Sideways. At the upper parallel, let's just do a quick reminder. That is the three-dimensional high. We're making a new three-dimensional high. I know Gina, uh, Shane has one that tilts, actually, because he's out of his mind. Actually, I take that back. Both of mine tilt. I just don't tilt them. They're such a... You know how I know the tilt is because when Jordan walks on them, they tilt. Anyway, <clears throat> so we're at a new three-dimensional high. How about that? Who would have thought? Now, remember, on Friday, we had all that change in 3D. We've had a little bit of change in 2D, but nowhere near as much on 3D. We're making new highs in 3D. And remember what happened in 2D and how it relates. So you got the idea right here. We just, now remember, we may be seeing expansion and we may not have seen the MLB yet. Yes. Remember, you might have been able to get in here on a normal chart. Right? But we didn't get a big pullback. Zoom the median line. So our, this is our original frequency line to the top, held it. We're pulling off. Um, I will do two things here. Hang on, I'm not reading yet. Oh, it's, it is a double top. Never mind. Still happy to buy the brown line. Okay. Force pivot. Yeah, sure. Also, right at the median line, too. Forced here, forced here. Forced in 2D, forced in 3D. Okay. Lower, lower. Was this a nice sell point? Well... You got to stop. Yeah. Turn up. Maseo says, I'm thinking short. Ah, how about in this area, Maseo? I'm not I'm not biased either way because they wouldn't be able to moderate oh my god I can't draw but that's what Ms. Sale's thinking other people are saying long at this line let's update that ok 
okay if you got long here you could still be underneath the low low okay anybody else like being short anybody else being uh, who's still on the long side taking out a high and lower highs long at the next max screw just says John Gary says I'm in for the and the long Shane says I'm in for the long it's three four five six longs and one short seven longs eight I got no shorts except for you Miss Hale long but I think I'm biased in Friday section session okay just so you know Gina this chart is months away from it says no relation to Friday session so everybody knows it's not connected okay okay long it is if we get there Maceo I'm gonna mark you okay Gina says but looking for pattern to repeat oh uh, yeah it can be dangerous Maceo I'm just gonna mark you just for chuckles No, no, you cannot be short unless four people are. This was just Maceo's idea. <coughs> Note that we are making three-dimensional highs. Right? We continue to make three-dimensional highs. We continue to make, now we're making two and three-dimensional highs. Pulling back up, back down, up. I think we missed a nice buy and we'll have to force our way in. Okay, well, I'm I'm ready for your force idea when you are. I'm going to just draw a line. Don't like it. You really want to get long here? Yeah, the stop will allow it. Uh, well, it'd be below here, wouldn't be below here. Could we mark the 3D high or low? Sure. Sorry. I'm looking to see if I could draw anything better now. My magnet must be on. Maybe that's it. Where the hell is it? Hmm. Right beside the... Oh, thank you. Is it on? Doesn't, no, it doesn't like that. Okay, good. I guess it won't let you do that. And I just wondered why I'm having trouble drawing. Thank you, Ouija. One more time. And we're through that. But let's make that this color and make this. And 
I'm going to dump the blue. And I don't know. It's hard to hard to get a real feel for for touches here. Looking for a pullback to the energy point of the red upper median line and the upsloping frequency line. So right here. Okay. When do you when you when do you rotate the field to change the axis to the third dimension? I don't understand the question, Carlos. Yes, I do have a 3D reference pointing down now. When does it start to point up? Um, when it's taken out. What the heck? You see this? It won't let me draw, folks. My hand, she's tied. There we go. I don't know what I just undid, but anyway, we'll have a new 3D high when we take out that line. Right? Okay. Um, anybody like this green meeting line? Let me just dump it. We got one dump. Two dumps. Okay, it's gone. Nobody likes my work. All right. All right. What do you want to do next? We're still looking. For, we, we'd take along if we were down here. Is that the next uh, possibility? Okay. Only if it's under the C point. More virus. Okay. I don't know where that came from, but okay. And new highs. Closest we've been to your excursion line. Now, what are you thinking? Pull back to up sloping frequency line, rangy, another bar, rangy. I want to test the line if it closes back above, get long on the close. Unable to say much, have trouble with my keyboard. <laughs> okay, hi BJ, I wonder why you're so quiet. Gary, wa Gary, you like to test, retest, or you want in? Shane says, still buy the brown if gonna go works. Okay, need one touch of the brown and then get long. So Ouija wants two touches. There hasn't been any test retests of Gary. Gary wants a test retest. <clears throat> so if you buy a test retest, you'll be above here and above here. Actually, even be above here. 
Okay. <laughs> no. Ah! Okay, we're at the brown line. And we close through it. Uh, before we do anything, let me just get caught up while you guys look. Oh, come on. I know everybody wants, I'll get there, hang on, I'll read everything, just one second. Okay, <clears throat> buy it. Uh, long on retest, no, I would just go for the test, buy it now, don't like it yet. If we close back above it and we can still go for us to go, I would like to get long, looking for a reversal, stick to the plan, I'm long here. Kareem wants to be long at the test. When will you make the upsloping lines a 3D reference line instead of using the downsloping lines we have been? Uh, two tops to the left. Bring your red dashed line to intersect the brown, please. Then we have three pokes to the brown line. Two tops to the left. So you're saying this. Well, one, two, we, one, two, three, like this. Let me just count the three. Horizontal to the right. So one, two, three, or one, two, three drives, like this. you were a draw to the right of the lower brown line. Batman's left shoulder. <laughs> Down here or here? One, two, three. One, David. Or one. Speak, buddy. You lost me. Here. She said, why or no? Yes or no? The red dash line. Okay, now what about it? <clears throat> Just want me to extend it? Oh, okay. We'll just say extend the... <clears throat> okay, fine. Got it. Uh... 
Alright. Alright, fine. Alright, now I see a zoom and retest of these double tops to the very left. If price reverses now, there will be another retest of the same area. Okay. So, I still like it. I feel it needs to break the high before I consider this trade on a retrace. <clears throat> Maseo's trade is not looking too bad, somebody says. Oh, it's okay, David. Could you tidy up the brown line to run from two frequency lows if that's not too convenient, says Shane. <coughs> Well, this brown low, I, I can add another one, but this comes from the very first frequency. So no, I won't tidy that up, but I will do this for you. Or a sliding, sliding parallel would not would make less sense than this. Those three tops and the subsequent recent high Price action is a worry for the longs, but we do have 3D highs. Okay, so is how many people are now long at this test? Scotty says Maseo may now well have sold near the top of the pen. They'll pull back. Hard to tell which side is correct now. Okay, I've got a 1 IM, a 2 IM, 3 IM, 4 IM. All right, so we've got a long. And now it's now it's gut check time since I've already I haven't even said who said it. Are you along because you're bored? I don't even care if you answer me, but think about it. L not long because I just don't know. Right. Gina, that I I wouldn't know. This is a decision point one way or the other. Okay. This is an energy point. Okay. All right. Isn't price in a bit of a mess? Um, looks messy to me. Same trade that I wanted before, says Thomas. Okay, and you got it. I figured a test retest would see would would not be seen on close only. Perhaps. Al says, I think this is too deep on the line for me. No, because we have not broken the 3D high. Okay. Here we go. And Maseo at this point is almost at one to one. Turn back up. Back at the maximum excursion line. And by the way, you're in the money. And in the money. All right, so let me mark a couple of things real quick. I need a small one. There we go. Oh, the new excursion line. Uh, okay. All right, there's a new excursion line. How about a median line with that being the C point? All right. You want the left or the high? All right. Hey. 
Had I been short, I'd collapse risk once price hit 1 to 1, not pre E, but an ATR over the prior high. Okay. So are you telling me that you are now out, Maceo, if you'd been short? Oh, one, t one ATR over the prior high. Uh, okay. So it'll be something like this. You be here, Miss L. Okay. <clears throat> Does anybody else, if you haven't done anything, is there anything else on the table? Anything else anybody else wants to do? No? Original entry to break even is on the table. Anybody? Remember, you don't get paid for break even. Let me say it again. You don't get paid for break even. You only get paid for three, one to three to one. I have to catch up. All right. Take care, Gina. Have a safe time. Yep. Have a safe trip, Gina. See you when you get back. Wednesday, okay. Short trip, yeah. You barely get there, you'll be back. Ah, uh, the kids. Well, you tell them we said hi. And we're at maximum excursion highs. I would move a long stop to start working under the recent low and would cut stop to one ATR. Okay, let me remind everybody, that's fine. I have no problem with good good order. We're only getting paid for three to one. Here's your 368, 762. Well, it would be right there if I could mark it. Go and stop, Reese. Got it. Yep. Yeah, I got it exactly, here, Reese. Basically, just adjusting my shh entry. Got it. Yep. And new highs on a 3D basis. And you guys are at one to one. No, take that back. Not quite, but now you're close to one to one. Breaking, breaking the median line. If, if you guys picked a low again, I'm going to... Well, you didn't pick a low this time, but it's, it's within... Well, we'll see how it goes. I don't want to uh, queer it. Blue to blue, huh? Continue to take out 3D highs. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Wow. Back to break even. Add a loss. Look at that. You, can you imagine how... Try to imagine in your mind what these real bars look like. Where'd you want in Scotty here? Scotty here? Here? With a stop below the sea. I can't even say that out loud, Reese. Need to see the recapture bar by bar. Okay, but give me an idea. You long here, Scotty? You long here, Scotty? Or you're not ready to get long? I 
I'm putting it in there. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Why not? All right. Get in a retest the median line stop loss. Yeah. Okay, you're in, Bob, right there. I wanted to be long too, but you moved before I could type an entry. Okay, Jordan, you're long too. Can you extend the maximum excursion line? Uh, what maximum excursion? Oh, this one? All right. Can I add a new maximum excursion line? Where? You want an upslope or a downslope? This is the max vision line right here. You want one right here? So like this. All right. I think it's overshooting the blue median line and then undershooting the lower parallel. Okay, so we undershot and now we're undershooting. Okay, I like that. Let's see what we get. Ah, Scotty made a much more intelligent long entry. Well, he's a much more intelligent guy, Reese. Tell you what, Reese. Salt of the earth. Hey. Okay. Yes, we are. We are all too kind. You are correct, Scott. No, you are. That's why I gave you the nice fill. And we're at the median line. Okay. Nice pickup. And we're making two th new, new 3D highs. And gosh, we're even making 2D highs. Maceo, you're about to, oh, Maceo. Great idea, out. Had the run of the board there for a while. Turned at the median line. Forced, but hang on a moment, right back up. So, test and the zoom is retest that strength. Yes, further extension to the upside, further extension to the upside. Wow, look at it go. Well. We better figure out what that means, Al, before you get too excited. Hang on. It's not three to one. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh no, you have to your stop has to be structured, sir. It can't be three to one. You can't game me. Double the range. What the heck is the range? Here to here? Okay, let's try that. Let's see if that works. Even that's not going to be three to one. Huh. Huh, he said. Wow. <clears throat> so you're going to need a warning line or you're going to need more time. Or you're going to need this excursion, I guess. Let's see what we got. 
Okay, Jose. I don't, tr Jose asked me, could you tell me if the trade comes back before I go? Jose, I have no idea. Didn't I, you didn't believe me at the beginning? I spun the dial. I went back a bunch of months and went, okay, here we go. So, I, Jose, I don't know the answer to the question. How about that? Sorry. Okay, take care, Kareem. So, we got about a half an hour left for you guys. Take care, Jose. Pull back. Right back up. Sideways. New highs in every dimension. Or not. Just playing with that median line. New highs. So here, Scotty, this may be how you end up getting your 3 to 1. Right? Al? See it? Uh, space, not time. Back to the median line. Oh, through the median line. A one buck stop was all that was needed on Scotty's trade. Yeah, it was beautiful. One buck chuck. Back to the lower parallel. Wow, all that work. But wait. A late rally. Sideways. Turning back down. Back to the lower parallel. Who would have thought? Turn. Through the lower parallel. Yikes. So who, w in a normal world, who would have had a stop, one buck? Not say in this world. I don't want to miss her stop underneath here. That says yes. Tom says normal, yes. This is painful to watch. Hey, it's, it's painful to do it on this end too, Gary. Do you feel uncomfortable? I would not have, but at the moment it looks like a good idea. I feel out of my element. How about you guys? Really bad weather here. It looks like we may have to lose power. Uh-oh. Don't worry about it, David. We're, we'll uh, worry for you, though. It's just not comfortable. This is worse than Friday, isn't it? It's awkward. Let's see if our tools, though, will de will deal with it. Yeah, I think it's time for this. Well, no. Right now it's one and a half. I just said if in your normal world it's a one and a half ATR, might you have move move your stop here, which actually is almost is just about break even. But this is this is informal. This was just a question. And, wow, look at that. Through our lowest maximum excursion line, zoomed our down sloping median line. We're now at a loss. I felt taking the trade happened too fast. I wasn't waiting to see what developed. I was looking to trade. Ah, how many people in hindsight were just looking to trade? Reese says yes. Anybody else? Trading with the crowd, trading in a mess. Matt says, I thought it was a decent trade, okay? 
It says trading with the crowd. I like the setup I was looking for, so I will stick with it. Well, I thought I thought you took your time, Scotty. I wanted the trade based on the tangent. Okay. Um, I'm not sure that everybody's in. If you. And remember, we can have more than one trade, so I guess we should get scoot in just in case. We turn back up, turn back down. New lows. Yikes. He says I'd be stopped out by now. Well, oh, that's right. That's Scotty's trade. The original trade is stopped out. Scotty's trade is barely alive. But it turns. Okay. That last move up was the sell, said Masail. How about... Something like that. Not proven to be easy, is it? All right, Scotty, whoever's with Scotty still alive. Everybody else has stopped out. You are free to trade again. Take care, Shane. We've got about 25 minutes. Force pivot lower median line. Right here. When was the last time we had a force pivot down here? Um, get to two things here. It's pretty difficult. Well, some nice touches in there, but otherwise, the whole touch idea disappears when you don't have lines. Going back like that makes price look like it's flowering. Mm -hmm. It does. Quite a bit. Now, we're making new 3D lows and new, new two-dimensional lows. So I guess time, well, I don't know. 2D and 3D are back in sync. How about that? Maybe that's what flowering means. Is when the two finally catch, make the excursion to catch up with each other. How many people vote that we don't do this on Friday? Okay, only one person. Everybody else wants to do it. It's a good. I think it would like to see normal charts. Okay, we can do this in our own time. Okay, trying to learn my thinking. Okay, you are learning good. All right, good. Help. Yes, but who would do it on their own? Good point, Gary. Helps to focus on important aspects of thinking. Time-based charts. Yeah, very few people, is, are, they say they do it on their own time, but they're not going to. You are correct, Gary. That's why I'm doing it today. That's why Mr. Feynman would come back and do it a second time. It's thought-provoking, no pain, no gain. Yep. You're only going to grow if you reach here, folks. So, purple is noise. 
at this point, I'd say around the back side. If it doesn't perform here, I guess it'll hold on. New lows and Scotty's group has stopped out. And other than Maceo, nobody ever wanted to go short. Didn't see it. I didn't say it did. I just asked a question. <coughs> We've seen extension to the upside, extension to the downside. Why don't we do this? We have no positions, right? <clears throat> it's just a thing the majority wanted long. I think the majority wanted to trade, John. Including you. Just my opinion. All right. Let's start over again. I think the big biggest winner right now is uh, BJ because BJ doesn't have to type. Okay. What else would you like me to draw? It looks like start of the session. It does, doesn't it? Now that we have a repeat, we've got a mulligan, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just doodling while you guys make drawing some comments. Oh, I thought it looked good. Maybe not. How do we get in on this steep rolling chop? That would be the question. Anybody have any ideas? Ugh, man, this town is a mess. Price discovery for me. So am I, uh, yeah, but I'm not going to tell you how to trade. Am I not the rolling chop king? I am, but I'm not going to tell you how to trade. You guys are here to discover. We're in a cave, okay? You can't find me. You've, lo you've lost me. And I'd say this median line is toast at this point. Hmm. Any ideas? Looking for ideas. That's crap. Unless we do that. Um, what do you think about this? Change this color. Could you spend 30 seconds on a definition of a rolling chop? Uh, it's not worth the time here, David. I will, when we get to a time-based chart, it's, it, it's not, I will, but yes. Copy the max excursion below, perhaps.
David, this is a rolling chop. If you were making it to these to these explosions or close to them, you take out the two-dimensional high, but not the three-dimensional high. New lows. No ideas? Is just going to roll over on me? Looking for a bounce back to the maximum excursion. Okay. You want to get short? Everyone is short. A short off the upper maximum excursion line. Okay. All right. Now what? I'm going to cut your ATR to one. Most of the positions right now, we are not making 3D lows. It's hard to get a 3 to 1 trade here, says Ouija. Okay. So I have one person that wants to get short. Could be a wash at the bottom, says John. Does the upslipper work, up work at this point? Uh, <coughs> 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 It's not awful. So two people like this idea. Do you want to just just get outright short? Do you want to short a retest, test and retest? Are there more than two votes? Some other people are looking at the upside, looking for an upsloping median line. And a lot of people are not talking. Gary says, I have to say, I have to wait. Last though did not reach the LME, not an entry for me yet. Just hit it. If, it. if it's running down, the retest is unlikely. Three the higher lows. I will go along at the blue horizontal line. Need more information. It seems very early. Too skinny and down in the hole up for a short for me. Okay. First some information there. I have to wait. Looking for a fake to the long side. Okay. Is it a fake? Hmm. Carlos says yes. Okay. How are you going to take advantage of that, Carlos? Six forty six. Okay, hang on. That kind of different kind of six forty six. Six forty six is up here. All right, so by the way, welcome to breakfast, Carlos. Biggest pullback to the upside so far. It's really close to it. I think we may have a B pivot now. 
at the low. All right. Carlos, if you didn't get a chance to watch Fridays, go back and watch Fridays. Um, interesting, our, it was our first shot at this. And uh, not me, but the group nailed the top and the bottom. Me, I can't, I can't even find this. There it is. So if somebody wants this as an alternating pivot. Okay. While we're on the lows, how about a maximum excursion line off of them? All right. All right. You're welcome. Um, pull back. Pull back. But new highs, double tops. Break the double tops. Anybody get anything? No, making new highs. Short idea, energy point area, pink median line and blue median line right here. Okay, I'm dead. I think either way, my rolling chop trading sucks, says Reese. It hasn't been fun. How about you energy point people? We're within five bars. I say, you energy energy point people were within five bars, and you could trade within your stop. No. Could the maximum excursion line be a center line? This one? Reese, the red one? Three seventy oh five. Okay. All right. Um, couldn't get anybody to take this trade, huh? Two media lines of trend barriers. I will go get short here. Ah, Paul. Paul wants to get short there. Anybody else want to get? I can't get anybody to. Anybody. Oh, Kyle, so short there. Okay. Two. Three. Okay. We got an official short. And eight minutes left. <clears throat> Dr. Gary, take care. I'll see you in about an hour. If it's a winner, I'll put you in. There's your stop, gents. Not seeing the violence. You like to stop, but not seeing the violence. Okay. And you immediately have one to one. I'd like to get long on this close, but not use all the Mr. Gonna Go, says Scotty. On this close, right there. Scotty, is this where you're trying to get long? Yes, you would.
Well, if you're short, you got one and a half in this. Scotty's out. <clears throat> Scotty and friends. Not risking 200. What the heck? Hang on. Yeah. So sorry. Dang it, you guys might have might have won. Well, trade isn't closed yet. Look at this, you got five to one going. It is, and I said I'd give you a one buck stop, yes, on this one. I don't know why I had two up there. Um, yeah, you could move the stop down. You could, we have five minutes left. You could take your money here and have four to one. I need to cover my earlier losses, so I'm thinking about taking the profit. Is that a bad thing to think? No, Reese. If I were you, and I was in this trade, all of you, I would, after this mess, and I just made five to one, I'd take my money at the lower parallel. How about you guys? Anybody else interested? Or is it just Reese? Carlos, the original seller. Okay, we're out. Five to one, nice job. All right, now let's go see. Let's go see what this looks like. This is September 20th, 6.46 a.m. Ready? <laughs> uh, welcome to regular world. Here you are, 6.46 a.m., this is, this is the right, this was the left side of your screen. This is the left side of your screen. Six forty six. So let's take a look. Let's go back. I'm telling you, it's hard, isn't it? So, 1430, 640, 646. And you got short on. On the 20th at 14 even, all right? You guys got short right here. Once again, selling the top. And it turned out it was the gap that drove you home. How about that? <coughs> yes, you held it over the weekend. <coughs> How about that for different? Yeah, once again, it's the same thing that happened on Friday. You really picked the top.
pretty impressive, huh? Carlos, good job. Welcome to breakfast. I wanted to point something out. See if I can grab it. If I can't, we'll give it up. But go forward. There was the real trade, but okay, I guess not. Let's go to nine fifty three on the twenty third. All right, check this out. Follow me. Now, from 8 to 9.59, watch this. And this is the 23rd. From 8.48 to 9.59. There we are. Okay, take a look at what a price bar looks like. This is exactly the same slice. You ready for the other side? This looks like a cascade higher, doesn't it? Does this have any of the signs of a short? Because really what we have is just 3D highs and higher and higher 2Ds, right? Now look at the same amount of space in a regular chart. How about that for weird, huh? But that's what the closes, close only. It's a different, it's not a better or a worse. You, gave them, you guys made a nice five to one trade, but look at how different this is. Shepard must use a whole different paradigm into this. Much more info on the complete bars. I'm not sure which one of them is... Reese, how about this? I'm not sure which one of them looks like it's smoking dope. I'm not sure... I don't know which one's which. How about that? Because think of it this way. If you just made... Yeah, so it must be you. <laughs> if you just made five to one on the close only, right? How how easy is it to make five to one on the bar charts? Hmm. So they look more comfortable because they should, you know, they're what you're used to seeing. Right? It's just what you're used to, right? Okay, so again, hope that was interesting. I think we'll do regular bar charts on Friday. Just for my sanity. But I needed to revisit it again, have you guys take a shot at it. As it turned out, of course, you made a nice profit. 
But it sure wasn't easy, was it? You realize you guys didn't pull it off until you had like seven or eight minutes left to go and all of a sudden, boom. Thank you, Paul. Paul says it was very interesting working through this time. Thank you. The idea, basically, I want you to exercise your mind to think about 2D, 3D. You're working with much less uh, information, uh, but cleaner pivots. So, we'll leave it alone for now. You know, maybe I'll come back with a, not now, but later, with a range bar or something like that. I will, Petra. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll keep my eyes open, Petra. Staying with the big downtrend paid today. Yes, it did. Here, I'll squeeze in for you guys. That's where we started. No, Mr. Shepard wouldn't. In fact, if you, no, he would never talk to you about trading at all. <laughs> I'm going to tell I, Reese, I've already told you the merits of why he went to close only. Did you not believe me? As he said to me, I was paid to keep price on a trading card he didn't tell me how to do it so the easiest thing was to just keep track of the closes so in in other words and I'd say this to his face sloth was the mother invention invention for him right sloth sloth but it worked I really like to close only as it gives a great perspective using bars or candles another great tool to learn from and use you're welcome. You're welcome, David. I'm not telling you to go out and use them, but you might want to experiment with them. And we'll look at some other stuff. Most, I think we'll go back to bread and butter right now, but not that I piqued your interest. We'll go back to bread and butter, but hopefully you'll take some of this away as you go back to your normal charts, okay? I could use some bread. Okay. <laughs> uh, is that what being married is like? Um, yeah, pretty much. I'm not sure who's the 2D and who's the 3D, but they, yeah, they do have to come to event to, together eventually. All right, I'm going to leave with that. You guys have a wonderful uh, morning. Happy breakfast. Welcome, Carlos. And uh, see you on Friday. And uh, yeah, BJ, definitely go buy go buy a new keyboard. If I were you, I'd get two. I have double everything in my office. Just to be honest, I have triple everything. But take care, everybody. I'll see you all soon.